You're watching the COP TV, the voice of football's most famous stand. I'm back. We're here at the official uh, Liverpool. <laughs> fuck up. Fuck. Hi, my name is Pat. We're here at the Liverpool Sporters Club official in the Palm Beaches, and you're watching Cop TV. Hey! <laughs> yes, Pat. But I wanted to just chat to you, see what your predictions are for next season. Who are we going to buy in the transfer window? All that stuff, and then have a drink and talk about Liverpool. Yeah. 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 Special, special, special video for you today, people. Look at this place. We are lucky. We are privileged to be here today. It's the official Liverpool Supporters Club of Palm Beaches. They've welcomed us in. They've got me in a t-shirt. They've gotten a couple of Guinnesses down me as well. And this man right here, Glendon Hart. Hello, it's an doing? absolute pleasure nice to, to be with you now. Um, we're all boy. Remember to smash them like buttons, by the way. Comment and subscribe to the COP TV wherever you're watching in the world. And let us know where you're watching. We're all boy, yes. live in Florida, Miami. Talk to me about your involvement of the club and, and how you became a Red and um, what a place you've, you're in here. I mean, there's Liverpool memorabilia everywhere. everywhere. Yes, it's, uh, we've got a great host pub, the Irish Brigade, down here in Lake Worth, Florida. Uh, and I came over here in the 90s. Uh, I was 18, came as baggage with my parents, basically. They were starting their new life. Um, and and this is where I've made my home basically for the last 30 years. It's been fantastic. Uh, in regards to the club, we started off in 2017. Is that what it says on there? I think, I think, I think on right. the back, yeah. <laughs> uh, there was about 12 of us who used to come and watch the games. We did a road trip and away day basically down to our Fort Lauderdale Supporters Club and we were like well this is great I mean the place is full of Liverpool Reds and uh, we thought maybe we could do this just uh, a few miles north pub started grew, uh, we started with the pub we had a great owner at the time lots of support and it grew and grew and grew yeah. uh, Champions League final uh, against Spurs we uh, we had 500 people in this bar it was 500 it was Reds in Miami, Florida. Wow. We are an official supporters club, backed by the club, uh, which is fantastic to have their support. Yeah. Um, every year we put together a special package with shirts and membership cards that are all included. And we just keep trying to build the fan base and spread the good name of Liverpool around and get together and watch the games, however yeah. early that may be sometimes. Well, that was my next question. Obviously there's a massive time difference as we know, but Tell me some of the stories of you waking up early, opening this place, looking at getting up at sometimes six to watch Liverpool or even Absolutely. earlier sometimes. Well, getting up at six, yeah. Without the support of the bar, it, this, we Shout wouldn't Shout out be to the here. Irish Brigade. Yeah, Massively absolutely. incredible pub. Incredible Guinness as well. It's Blender. fantastic pint, mate. It travels well. Very good. Um, yeah, 7 a.m. at the morning has been the earliest game for us. So we're actually lucky being on the eastern side of the country because California, yeah. they're, they're getting up at 4 a.m. Um, but it, sometimes it's a little rough, you know, getting up at 5.36, getting down the pub, setting it up. Uh, but we try and make the most of it. We, we will get 60 to 100 people at 7 a.m. out here. Some of them show up in their pajamas, their Liverpool pajamas, just for fun. <laughs> but we get, uh, we get a full English down us, get some pints and enjoy the match. And hopefully we get a win on those days. Make that it is, all worth it. That is unbelievable. I mean, again, if you're watching this from all over the world, let us know where you watch first and foremost. But what time do you get up? I mean, listen, we had a lot of early Saturday kickoffs due to being in the Champions League last season. Maybe not so many this season, but again, you can have a little lion then, if that's the case. I'll take the lions, mate. I, uh, I, I enjoy my football days, mate, coming out, being part of this. It, it, these supporters clubs, and the dedication of the fans are, are incredible. Um, you know, for us to go over to Anfield, for these, some of these people to go over Anfield, they're, they're, it's a big investment. It is, man. So being able to try and recreate something locally is fantastic. And, and they've got us, they've got our backs, they show up and they never let us down. You never walk alone, as we know. All the people that we've met today, and it's just humbling and mind-blowing to see so many Reds that have come out three o'clock on a Thursday a to come day. and chat to us at the COP TV. It's unbelievable. It is a work day. 
but the support you guys get, what is it like being a Liverpool fan in Miami? Because listen, unfortunately, other clubs are getting other fans here in USA and you want to keep them down and grow the Liverpool numbers. But what's it like being a Liverpool fan in America in full stop? Because there must still be that rivalry uh, and banter. It's honestly one of the best supported clubs in America. Um, I d well, first, Could we say number we're one? Not, we're not in Miami first. This is Palm West Beaches. Palm Beach or yeah. Palm Beaches, about an hour north. Um, I don't know of another supporters club for any other team, at least that has our following. Every time I've been to one, I try to check them out, the bars are always empty. So we are number Especially one. Especially the Man City one. That is always empty, mate, and I know that bar. <laughs> married, he's married, and he has a kid. I mean... <laughs> Listen, you're all right, it hasn't stopped people before, but I'm not like that, okay? I'm not like that. So you're a fan of Darwin Nunez? He's a, he's a pretty boy, I he can't lie. He's a, a very good looking like boy. better than mine, I feel like. And it's a, yeah. it's a little... It's jealous, I'm jealous. Steve here, uh, who do we need, what do we need, and where are we finishing next year? We need an entire, we need an entire midfield bit, a rebuild, and uh, I... I don't believe any of the rumors. I mean, we're now we're linked to Kyle Walker. Yeah. It's like, give me a break. Yeah, that's what we need, another 33-year-old uh, midfielder. Great, <laughs> it's fantastic. Yeah, that's going to save us. I trust in the club. I trust in them to bring in who we need to bring in. McCall I, McAllister wasn't even on my radar thinking about that we, he was, and now we have him, so. Yeah. Next season, how does next season look for us? We'll definitely be in the top four next season. Trophy? We'll be back in the Champions League, but I, uh, Europa, it's in Dublin, the I final. Know. I know. We should all I know. go. I know. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, we're, we're going. <laughs> and, okay. and I probably, I went to, we went honeymoon. to Madrid. My daughter, like when I, we first started, my daughter and I started coming. So the, Liverpool's always been our thing. So anytime they're going to be in the final, we're going to go. So we went to Madrid and just went to Paris. And so I'm hoping for Dublin. So yeah. Top four. Do we win a trophy? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Confidence from yeah. Jennifer there. I'm going to win, say, two trophies. Okay. So I'll go one domestic and then Europa. Domestic like could be probably FA or okay. Carabao. Uh, transfers, midfield. Uh, and I think we need to look at a setter back. I agree. Um, I don't think many people are talking about it, but we've got Joe Gomez that lines up with Virgil, which I'm not confident. I think it's more of a liability situation there. Yeah. That and he, and I think if you push we need the Joe, next Tenate, don't we? well, if you push Joe to the right, I have a bit more confidence with yeah. that, and you get Trent bet up and play that hybrid role that he's playing now. Uh, and then you just gotta get the center back figured out with Virgil, and then or with Kanate, and you can interchange them because obviously we know Kanate has injuries. Virgil's had injuries recently; can't stay fully healthy all the time anymore. Can't rely. So just I think those two main midfield and a center back issue. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Listen, Liverpool is that big. 100% Liverpool is that big. This is what you don't realize. If you're invested in the club, if you support Liverpool, it's not until you go around the world and see how well supported this club is. We are the most successful club in England. Let's have it right. The numbers say so. My burgers just arrived. I genuinely feel like I could be in the Sandon pub outside Anfield right now. I live 10 minutes from Anfield. Taggies. All these kinds of pubs, the 12th man, hotel tier. This is where you get the match day experience. And I feel at home here. There's even Liverpool pint puller covers yes, as well. Carl, Carlsberg tap, yeah. We, we originally, when we had the previous owner, we had this bar covered in Liverpool stuff. We had the windows wrapped in really? uh, pictures of players. <laughs> it was like Jurgen's at home. Yeah, absolutely. Just yeah. like Jurgen's, yeah. And uh, we, we actually based some of it on uh, Carragher's in New York. Uh, I've been there. The top four. Okay. Uh, it's going to be a struggle again for another season. Uh, I don't know where we're going with the transfer season. Obviously, McAllister is a good boost to our I'm midfield. You right? Somebody's already got his shirt on here and he hasn't even played yet. <laughs> here we go then. I've been told this guy right here, Pat. Turn around, Pat. Hey, what's up? What's up? I've heard he's the cheerleader of the group here. He's got McAllister before he's even played a game. For Liverpool on the back of his shirt, Bamos Alexis. Yeah. When got is that your Guinness? Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. Go and get it. Let's have a drink together. And the Guinness is great in here as well. Yeah, hey, it ain't Irish, but hey, they do it's a the excellent job here. There's one, but there's one more important piece. I gotta, I gotta flex. Guys, we never walk alone. Look at that. Can we get a zoom in on that? Jeez, man like Pat, you know. <laughs> What's your full name? Patrick. Patrick. Pa Patrick Flores. Uh, little Pat lad, wherever he is. Yeah, Pat? I saw uh, him a minute ago. He's, he's our cheerleader. Oh, I love <laughs> Big up Pat. I, I say, like, these are the days to be a red. It's like, and hey, like the song says, 
I'm so glad that Jurgen is a red. I'm so glad he delivered what he said. Jurgen said to me, you know, we'll win the Premier League, you know, he said so. I'm in love with him and I feel fine. It's not, it's not bad at all, is it? Round of applause, yeah, from, from two people. We'd love to see it. Trent in midfield next season? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, 100%. <laughs> yes, but hybrid role. Yes, but the hybrid role. You've heard it. The Palm Beach Liverpool fans have spoken. Thank you guys so much for coming out today. You've shown me so much love. Pat, we are here at the Irish Raid, home of the Liverpool Supporters Club of the Palm Beaches, and you are watching Cop TV. Yeah. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the Cop TV. The voice of, of football's, football's most, most famous, famous stand. stand.